calling the Peugeot 408 absolutely reliable the language will not turn, although he only has some engines and automatic in the risk group. Therefore, on the market you can easily find a version without congenital source. It is noteworthy that the 408 and the Peugeot 407 have practically nothing in common. The fact is that in fact our sedan is built on a common basis with the 308th hatchback of the first generation. Only in comparison with it, the sedan has an increased wheelbase length, which made it possible to make the rear row more spacious and comfortable. But the aggregate component, the engines and gearboxes used, are almost the same for both cars. In addition, the design of the front panel and dashboard are also identical. The car was created for countries with weak economies, among which, sadly, Russia is included. Hence the suspension with the package for bad roads and a ground clearance increased to 175 mm, a sedan body with a fairly spacious interior and trunk, electrical equipment and a power system adapted for cold climates. In general, the French car turned out to be strong, but not without the sins inherent in Peugeot passenger cars. After all, the sedan is built on an elongated platform of the then 308 hatchback with all the pluses and minuses that follow from this. Of the advantages of the car, we note solid external dimensions, a free interior with a huge trunk with a capacity of 560 liters and an energy-intensive suspension with high smoothness. And the disadvantage is not the most reliable automatic AM boxes and gasoline engines. However, first things first. On the Peugeot 408, only 1.6 liter fours were installed, gasoline with a capacity of 110, 120 and 150 horsepower as well as a 112 horsepower turbo diesel. The most unpretentious and affordable in operation is the base motor of 110 powers. However, there is nothing special to break in it. By design it is not the most advanced, but reliable. Over the long years of production, this unit managed to get rid of all its congenital sores. The water pump and thermostat do not differ in durability. Drive belt and engine electronics. But the 120 and 150 horsepower of the joint production of PSA and BMW were initially surprised by numerous problems. The main trouble came from the timing chain stretching ahead of time, sometimes by 25,000 to 45,000 kilometers. If you do not pay attention to the increased noise and rattle during engine operation, then soon the chain will jump a couple of teeth and the valve timing will shift, which will inevitably lead to a breakdown of the blockhead. Repair costs from 50,000 rubles and a new MCC is two to three times more expensive. Since 2016, the chain has been upgraded, and the problem is gone. On the top-end engine, problems are added with the turbine, which begins to sweat with oil after 120,000 to 150,000 kilometers, approximately the same amount can withstand the injection pump and engine mounts. Against the background of gasoline engines, a turbo diesel looks like a standard of reliability. If you change the oil every 10,000 kilometers or more, and also monitor its level, then the engine will easily last up to 500,000 kilometers. True, during this time it will be necessary to update the injection pump, injection nozzles, 11,000 rubles each, and the turbocharger. Paired with four motors, four gearboxes work, S and six speed mechanics, as well as four and six band automatic. There are practically no complaints about mechanical gearboxes unless many owners complain about the large lever strokes. But the infamous, for mortar, just gushes with malfunctions. True, they are quite inexpensive to treat. The French have upgraded the box several times, but it rarely takes care of more than 150,000 kilometers without a major overhaul. But, we repeat, the machine is quite affordable in maintenance and repair. The six-speed Eisen transmission has proven itself from the best side. But the fluid in it should be changed regularly every 60 to 80,000 kilometers. Transmission. The MKP-5 is combined with the base 110 horsepower engine and with the 120 horsepower engine, five speed mechanics or four band automatic. The top four is content exclusively with a six speed automatic transmission and a turbo diesel, only a six speed manual gearbox. The most problematic is the old four speed automatic which rarely withstands 150,000 kilometers without a major overhaul. Engine. All Peugeot engines love to eat engine oil. Moreover, a consumption of 1,200 G per 10,000 kilometers is considered the norm even among officials. Therefore, it is necessary to monitor the level of lubrication regularly. After all, often oil sensors brazenly lie, overestimating its amount. 
In addition, French engines are very demanding not only on the quantity, but also on the quality of the oil. Suspension. Peugeot has a McPherson strut in front, a semi-independent beam in the back. The undercarriage, simple in design, does not require frequent intervention, but a lot of complaints come to the brake discs, which rarely withstand more than 40,000 to 50,000 kilometers. Yes, and the pads are often updated twice as often as regulated. Their lifespan is about 13 to 18,000 kilometers, but the steering tips can withstand 70,000 kilometers. Body. The car was assembled in a full cycle with body welding near Kaluga. The wits say that this was the reason for the uneven gaps between the body elements of the 408. In fact, this is not so, the quality of cars of Russian and foreign assembly is the same. Chips appear, but they do not rust for years. Checked. But the paintwork is really weak, as well as the windshield. Electric. This is one of the weak points of the sedan. Electrical problems can haunt a car almost from the assembly line. And there's nothing you can do about it. And everything can fail and fail here power windows, numerous sensors of the engine and the comfort unit located in the cabin, central locking and mirror servos. Light bulbs burn so often that the owners no longer consider this a malfunction. 